Week 5 Class 3A rankings are here, and let me tell you, our Class 3A ranker had his work cut out for him. We had two teams jump up seven spots in this week's poll. Uh, some massive upsets and just overall just a ton of movement. Only four teams held down the same spot that they had last week. So we got 12, 12 spots where teams are moving in and in, in different slots. So without further ado, I'm not going to waste your time. Let's get right into Class 3A Week 5 rankings, starting with 16 through 11. At number 16, a new squad to our rankings, Sioux Center. They beat Spencer last week, and they've got a big one this week against Bishop Healing again, 16 uh, at Sioux Center. They they jump into our rankings. At number 15, Fort Madison. They moved down two spots. They lost to Williamsburg, a top five team, as you can guess, probably the number one team uh, in Class 3 this week. So they're not going to drop too far for that one. At Central DeWitt, they hold down number 14. They were there last week. They beat Clinton 44-6. to In Clear Lake, they move up three spots after beating Waverly Shell Rock 28-25. to At number 12, Humboldt. They've just kind of faltered, like kind of fallen over the last few weeks. They lost to North Pole 34 to 7. They're still trying to trying to find their feet underneath them. They fall to number 12 this week. And also taking a pretty good fall is Nevada. They lost 24 to 21 to Hampton Dumont Cal. They low they drop five spots and fall to number eleven. Let's get into your guys' top ten. And as I said, tons of movement. And it starts here. Independence. They stick here at the number 10 spot with a 21 to 10 win over Decora. Our 3A ranker says he would have liked to give them a little boost in the rankings following a solid win. But with so much going on in this class and last week, it was just bad timing. Uh, a lot of big performances week this week in class 3A. Shout out to the defense who got a huge scoop and score and held the Vikings to just one score all night. At number nine, Assumption. Assumption's great season continues on, aside from their one loss to 4A's, one of 4A best, North Scott. Assumption is quietly becoming a favorable team for the playoffs. Jake Timmons leads the way with 210 yards and two touchdowns through the air. And with two ranked opponents coming up, they could easily find themselves climbing a lot higher. At number eight, at 4-0, and Bishop Heelan. The Crusaders keep on coming, and they keep their spot this week in the ranks at number eight in an ever-so-changing Class 3A. They put a pounding on Sioux City West on Thursday night, and they did exactly what they should have done to a team like this. 42 points in the first half, just seven recorded pass attempts for Quinn Olson, yet still throwing five touchdown passes. Yeah, I'm going to say that again. Seven pass attempts, five touchdown passes for Quinn Olson, each one to a different receiver. They have a solid test in Sioux Center in the coming week and could be an opportunity for either team to rise in Class 3A. At number seven, Webster City, one of the Biggest upsets uh, of the year, I'd say, and it was a disappointing one. Um, one of our Class 3A rankers' favorite teams falling to an unranked De- West Delaware team. Uh, not, not just falling, losing big. It was a thirty about a 30-point loss, if I remember correctly. Only one passing attempt for the Lynx. Jackson Cherry just couldn't quite break away uh, from West Delaware's defense. His longest run of the night was just five yards. He still ran for 104 and a touchdown. Um, but but Webster City, we always talk about bounce back opportunities, and they have two huge games with undefeated Clear Lake and a and a top five Hampton Dumont Cal team coming up. Uh, so Webster City, uh, they they fall four spots this week, but plenty of room for them to still climb. At number six, Mount Vernon, another team that took a pretty big fall. Uh, we were kind of expecting Mount Vernon to win in their last ever home game uh, at the at that historic Mount Vernon field. Um, this is still a great Solon team they faced. A Solon team that was probably lower than they than they uh, lower than they should have been just because of their early season loss to Assumption. Uh, not losing any hope on this team. It was still a solid offensive game for the Mustangs, and the defense had the task of slowing down one of the hottest offenses in the state. Uh, Joey Romberg did have his uh, best uh, did his best, having it another incredible week, throwing for 423 yards and three touchdowns. So again, Mount Vernon they fall to Solon, uh, which means they fall out of our top five and to number six. But without further ado, we've got two new teams in our class five or class three A rankings this week, excuse me. And I'm sure you can guess who they are. At number five, Hampton Dumont Cal. They move up seven spots. They are undefeated at four and zero. And for a team that our ranker already was uh, looking to give a bigger boost to, Hampton Dumont Cal proves it with a big time win over a really good Nevada team. Despite Nevada's late life in the fourth quarter, Hampton Dumont Cal hangs on. Uh, by three points to get a huge bump in the rankings. This was a total team win. Everyone having pretty even stat lines, and the Bulldog stock 
continues to rise as we approach district play. And they've got a tough district and some big games coming up. But nevertheless, Hampton Newmont Cal, first time in our IA football top five. Congrats to them. Another team making their debut in our top five, Solon. How about these Spartans? After a tough loss to an assumption team, Solon has completely turned its season around. And it's been the offense. Offense got off to a really slow start in its first few weeks. But the last two weeks, putting up 41 and 37 on two ranked teams, including a seven point victory, 17 point victory over the then number two class, over the then number two team in class 3A. Conlon Poynton is a huge in the win with 218 yards and three touchdowns on the ground. And Solon looks ahead to a very tough schedule over the next few weeks. They have three and one Grinnell. 3-1 and one Benton, and 4-0 and oh and number one Williamsburg. You can mark your calendars for that one. That's going to be a big one. At number three, moving up two spots, uh, another 4-0 and oh team, Creston. What a week for Kale Turner and company. Creston has a confidence boost uh, and an offensive frenzy against Carroll. Kale throws, uh, goes 11 for 12 for 431 yards and six total touchdowns, while his top target, Brendan Hayes, picks up 213 yards and two touchdowns on just three catches he had 71 yards per carry or per catch i'm sorry uh they are eager looking ahead to their week five matchup with a team they could very likely meet in the playoffs in the harlan cyclone so yes uh probably the biggest game across all classes this week it's one that i'm looking at going to it's going to be number two harlan versus number three crescent in class 3a uh speaking of harlan they hold down the number two spot they jump up two spots uh, it was only a matter of time before the Cyclones' cons consistency pays off. And in a week full of upsets, Harley, Far Harlan finally sees its opportunity to make a big jump. They're in the top three for the first time since week three. Will Arkfeld uh, replacing Tegan Casper are no easy task, but he throws for nearly 300 yards and three touchdowns in the blowout win over Sergeant Bluff Luton. Uh, but like our 3A ranker says, they have a huge game coming up. Number three, Cas Creston, who has proving themselves. Creston is no fluke. Uh, they've beaten Lewis Central. Uh, they've beaten Carroll. They, they've beaten everybody they've faced, uh, and it's going to be an offensive firepower. Kale Turner, Brennan Hayes, you got Will Arkfeld, Cade Sears. I mean, I'm expecting this game to be like a 38 to 40, 40 to 45 type game. Tons of offense, um, and I, I'm guessing it's going to be an instant classic. At least that's what I'm hoping for. Uh, but nevertheless, holding down the number one spot is Williamsburg, and this team it's kind of separating themselves in a, in a class 3A that's just being filled with upsets right now. Um, Williamsburg held their own against a really good Fort Madison team. The Raiders snagged two picks and their ranked win, and four out of eight Kellen of Kellen Cockrell's completions were for touchdowns. Although Williamsburg has two teams coming up that aren't the greatest, they have a huge Week 7 matchup at Solon, which we talked about. Uh, it'll be a huge game for both, uh, both teams, so Williamsburg is going to look to stay perfect until that big matchup in week seven like, like i said tons of movement in class 3a we had a ton to talk about um but class 3a is shaping up to be one of the more competitive classes of all seven and it's just going to keep on getting crazier so i want to appreciate you guys for tuning in uh, again tons of big games this week and in the coming weeks in class 3a be sure to check out the rest of our rankings and subscribe to iA sports on youtube if you're not already but thanks guys and i'll catch you next week